What's up everybody? Welcome back to One More Guitar. Thanks for checking out the video and Happy New Year. Before we get started today, I want to give a quick shout out to my sister-in-law who got me this awesome One More Guitar sign for Christmas. How cool is that? She also hooked me up with this sweet Brave shirt, so thank you Tabitha, I appreciate that. Alright, now let's talk about this guitar I have here in front of me today. This is a Gibson Les Paul Standard 50s and I'm super excited to show you this thing. Um, I've been wanting one for a long time and I got a heck of a deal on this, so let's dive right into this and check it out. Alright, since I picked this up at the store, I didn't get to do an unboxing, so I at least want to do an uncasing here. So let's check this thing out. Oh. I love the way this guitar looks. Check that out. It's cool to me how it's got this really long streak in it here, and it's got these little vertical ones here going along with the horizontal flame. Love that. I also think there's a bit of overspray of the red right here in the middle section, and I think that looks so good. Something that makes it stand out and a little unique. I definitely did not think I was going to be able to get one of these anytime soon. But I got a great deal on one. Um, I don't know if they'd had it sitting around for a while or what, but when I saw the price they were asking for this, I could not pass it up. And I think this guitar looks beautiful. This is a pretty nice case. All right. Let's open it up and take a look at the case candy. Got our strap here. I don't think this actually is a Gibson branded, so maybe they changed the straps. Got our multi tool and your typical stuff in here. Gibson card, and then there's the baby photo. Somebody's keyboard. Funny. Right, and then we got the case keys. One cool thing about this flame is that from certain angles it kind of disappears and it almost looks like a plain top when you look at it from certain angles and we'll check that out in a little bit but um, I love the grain on this thing. I think it looks really good.
Alright, let's check out the specs. The Gibson Les Paul Standard 50s comes with a AAA flamed maple top, and I think this one looks particularly good. I think I really lucked out on this one. It's got a gloss nitrocellulose lacquer finish, and this finish is Heritage Cherry Sunburst. It has the typical Les Paul controls. You get one volume and one tone knob for each pickup. It comes with an ABR-1 tunematic bridge with stop bar tailpiece, but this isn't like a vintage ABR-1. Those are drilled directly into the body where this one has a bushing with it. It has a three-way toggle switch to select which pickup your own, and the neck pickup is a burst bucker 1, and the bridge pickup is a burst bucker 2. The fingerboard is made of rosewood. It has acrylic trapezoid inlays. 22 medium jumbo frets, 24 and 3 quarter inch scale length, and a 12 inch radius. It comes with a Graftec nut that's 1.695 inches, and it has vintage deluxe tuners. There's binding on the body and the fretboard, and you can see the fret nibs covering up the fret ends here. Alright, let's take a look at the back. I think it looks pretty good. You can see some figuring in the wood. There's really not a whole lot of movement on this back, but I still think it looks good. There are a couple of cool little things about it though. From this angle it kind of darkens up and you can really see the wood grain a lot more and I really like that ring pattern on the side over here. So this has got a mahogany body and the neck is also made out of mahogany. Uh, it's a set neck joint and the neck shape is the vintage 50 so this is a definitely a thicker neck profile. And here we can take a look at the back of the headstock and see the back of the vintage deluxe tuners. And here you can see it's got the exposed maple cap and the cutaway below the binding. And that's a 50s Les Paul spec, so I wanted to check to see if they actually did that on the standard here, and they did, so that's pretty cool. Let me show you what this neck looks like in my hand. You can see that it fills up my hand a pretty good bit. It's definitely a thick neck. It's not huge though, this is the kind of neck I like, it's very comfortable to me. Now I want to talk about this top for a minute. I mentioned earlier that in some lights it seems like it's a plain top and that all of the figuring disappears. So let me see if I can demonstrate that. At this angle you can pretty much see all of the flame. But if you start dipping down a little bit you see it disappears some and that's just normal movement. But check it out when we look at it in this light from this angle. It's like there's no figuring at all except for the one spot underneath the bridge. So I just thought that's really cool. In certain lights, it's like all the figuring disappears. All right, let's take a look at the pickup readings. In the neck, we have 7.51. In the bridge, we have 8.08. .08. In the middle position, we have 3.88. And the weight is nine pounds and eight ounces, so nine and a half pounds straight up. That seems to be about on the low end for this model. There's no weight relief at all in these. Here it is cleaned up with the strings off of it. I figured we could take a quick look at it. I also want to take a closer look at this fretboard. I found a couple of little spots in it, one obvious tooling mark, and then everything else just looks like little specks of dirt or something in the wood. I'm not sure. I tried to clean it off, but it wouldn't come off. But uh, overall, I think this fretboard looks really good. Um, I like the streaks in it. And I like the way the inlays look too. Alright, I want to see what it looks like without this pit guard too. Let's see if I can find my can of guard be gone. There we go. Alright, so what do you think? Pit guard or not? I'm usually a pit guard owned guy if it came with one. Um, I don't really want the holes there otherwise. But I'm glad I took this off. It looks pretty good without it. This is a two piece top. You can see the seam line here. I looked around and didn't see any other ones so I'm pretty sure this was two piece. Take a look at the tailpiece. It says advanced plating. It's 
pretty lightweight, really. Next, let's take a look at the bridge. You can see it says Gibson ABR1. All right, well, I've got the strings off. Let's go ahead and take a quick look under the pickups here. All right, let's check it out. The routes look pretty clean. You can see through to the mahogany body. And we can see we've got a few markings in here. Um, that says LPS 50 something. I'm gonna assume that stands for Les Paul Standard 50s. Not sure what that extra O was for. And then up here in the neck cavity, we have HS, which I'm assuming stands for Heritage Sunburst. Next, let's check out the pickups. You can see here in the neck, it says BB1 for Burst Bucker 1. And then the bridge pickup says BB2 for Burst Bucker 2. And they have the patent applied for sticker on them. All right, we'll take a look at the electronics on the back real quick. You can see a base plate down here and everything looks pretty clean to me. The switch cavity looks good as well. All right, the next thing I want to do is the tissue test. These things have fret nibs, so theoretically everything should be good, right? Not a scratch. All right, let's check the bottom. Perfect. That's awesome. All right, so let's see what this thing sounds like clean. I'm just gonna play some chords and run through the different pickup positions. All I've got on is a little bit of reverb right now, so let's check it out. Right, let's see what some single notes sound like clean. All right, let's do the same thing with some overdrive. I've turned it over to the gain channel of the Marshall and we'll play some chords and then some single note stuff.
next I want to see how these pickups clean up. I have burst bucket pickups and several guitars, and I really like them a lot, but I've never had one with a burst bucket one in the neck and a two in the bridge, so let's check this out. in the bridge. Man, I love Burst Bucker pickups. I think these things sound great. All right, so what are my final thoughts on the Gibson Les Paul 50 standard? Well, I have to say this thing is everything I hoped it would be. I love the way it plays and I love the way it sounds. This neck profile feels great in my hands. It's a thicker neck. Uh, if you're looking for thinner stuff, you may want to try the 60 standard. But I like the thicker neck, so I really wanted to pick this one up. Um, I love the way that the wood grain and the flame looks. I think it's fantastic. And these pickups sound amazing. I always like the Burst Bucker pickups, and I really do like this combination of the Burst Bucker 1 and 2. Um, but I like the 2 and the 3 and the V too. So, I, like I said, I like these Burst Bucker pickups a lot. I guess if I had to say one negative thing about it, she does have a little bit of junk in the trunk. She's a little bottom heavy. But other than that, I think this guitar is fantastic. Um, it looks great. I like the back. I like the neck. I think the front looks awesome. It sounds really good and it plays great. So, uh, again, I can't say enough good things about it. And if you're looking at getting one of these guitars, I highly recommend it. This is a lot of fun to play and it sounds and feels great. So thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate you hanging around. Uh, please remember to take a second to hit the like button if you liked the video. Hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel, and until next time, take it easy and keep playing.